honorable speaker. Uh, I have an oral urgent question to the right honorable leader of the government business. And I want to see whether what she said now would be a consistent sense in the next question. Can I, can I have the gist of it? The gist of it is that the right honorable prime minister empowered by the statutes of this country transfers the officials or officers that serves as executive directors to various government agencies and ministries. It's a given and we agree with that. But we are seeing an interference and capturing of the anti-corruption commission. If the, minister, the prime minister is talking about the autonomy, government wants to protect autonomous institution, how does that speak to the fact that she would take an executive director from the office of the central intelligence Someone who, who deals with the questions of Honorable Rear Admiral, my dear friend and neighbor, Vilo, who deals with everything secret, to come and run ACC. At a sensitive juncture, what we are hearing that there are already over 303 individuals already linked to the accounts of the fish rod scandal. And yet the Prime Minister does not the question of autonomy, autonomy and transparency and brings in a spy agent to come and run ACC. How does, AC, to us, ACC is already captured? Because if there was transparency, the Prime Minister should have said ACC, in, in terms of protecting the ethos and the values of that institution, please go out and look for a competent person yeah. to become the executive director. But that you are pushing the executive directors of ACC as government at will, while ACC is investigating government, so to th us that is a compromise. And I want to hear your view on the matter, because you spoke so eloquently is, about the ECN autonomy. What about the ACC thank autonomy? You, thank you, Honorable Benani, <laughs> Prime Minister. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Um, I have responded to, to that issue, uh, the Office of the Prime Minister, and, and I would say in short what the response is. Executive directors do not run these uh, watchdog institutions. The ACC is not run by the executive director at the ACC. It is run by the director general of the ACC, assisted by the deputy director general, and the staff that are and the staff that are empowered through delegation of the powers for investigation and other work that are carried out by the ACC by wrong information. I, I want thank to you. say that. Thank you. Thank you very and, much. And there was therefore no interference in the work of the commission. This was the okay. power of the Prime Minister that is given under the law to transfer persons. There is absolutely nothing wrong that we know of with the person that is deployed as ED at the ACC. And if there is anything that renders that person unsuitable to serve in that position in terms of the Public Service Act, you know, then that information should be made known to the Prime Minister. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You, are, you were talking about autonomy of the ECN. What is the autonomy of ECC? At the ECN, the director who runs ECN is appointed through an open vetting process to avoid conflict of interest. Now, ACC that is running a corruption scandal of over 10 billion, yes. the people that are accused are ministers that are in prison. Yes. And now you are bringing the state to be able to direct the affairs. And if you are saying the ED does not direct the affairs, of course the ED is the person that presents the budget of, 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 of ACC to the ministry. Of course. Every year when there is a budget Thank committee, you. ED... Thank you. Yes? Honorable Benani. If, if the ED says, don't give money to the AC, to, okay. to the case, then he is compromised. If you want to speak of the autonomy of ACC, government has captured ACC. Thank you. Thank you. Let's leave, it, let's leave it there. Yes. Honorable 
PM. Please, I don't want you to continue the form of a dialogue. Briefly, please. Yeah. I must respond. I, I must respond because I, yes, I need to provide clarity. The, 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 the appointment of the director of the ECM is provided for in the Act. So if it was the wish of this House that the director of the ECM would have functions uh, and, and would be appointed in a certain manner, then they should, we should have provided for that under the law. But we have provided for what we have provided, and that stands for as long as that law is unamended. Okay. And I'm sure we all know that. And I reiterate once again, I reiterate once again that the EDs do not deal with the functions that are vested in the principles that head public institutions, and it is not correct that the ED of the ACC is the one that presents the budget. Present it where? Yeah, as I have served at the Ministry of Finance, and I know that principals, principals heading institutions of the state do directly speak to the resources needs, and I consider such when I make a proposal uh, for a budget. So it is incorrect to say whatever funding goes to the ACC is actually determined by the, by the ED. Absolutely not. The ED only is the accounting officer, and that's all. Thank you. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Honestly, ah, no, no, no. I you, think you, we leave it at ah, that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Honestly, ah, we had a, a ah, oral question.